So with the recent patches we have seen enemy density increase within certain nightmare dungeons across the board. This means certain dungeons which were poor for XP prior have now become some of the best. Today guys I bring you 5 of the best dungeons you can farm for the XP. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Now with the recent 1.1.2 patch, they seemingly nerfed the ability to farm Nightmare Dungeons in 18. You can however still do this solo and it's as simple as getting to the very end of said dungeon, not killing the boss or completing the final objective, simply leaving the dungeon waiting 2.5 to 3 minutes upon you then re-entering said Nightmare Dungeon all enemies will have respawned. The issue with this is you won't be able to apply XP to those glyphs. Now some of these dungeons pre 1.1.2 and the nerf here with that uh, reset farm, you could easily earn upwards of 60 million XP per hour if farmed right. Post patch I'm going to say it's closer to probably two thirds of this number without the ability to farm said dungeons over and over without having sigils ready to go but if you do have sigils of said same dungeons ready to go and you're in a team you can earn crazy amounts of XP again in a team as well XP is increased but then again so is the enemy health etc etc. Now me personally I prefer to play solo but either or guys these are still the best dungeons in the game to farm right now for XP solo or a team. We also need to keep in mind the speed in which you earn XP and how efficient that is is dependent on your build. Yes some people posting videos claiming they can get 100 million in an hour is no doubt due to them using super OP end game builds and running dungeons in a few minutes. Whereas for us normal mortals, it's probably going to take us double that time. Okay, so let's get into it guys. And firstly, we have the Hoarfrost Demise. Now the Hoarfrost Demise is easily one of the quickest dungeons to run and farm. This place, even for a slow paced player like myself, can be completed within about 3 minutes. It's definitely one of the best for that Glyph XP due to this fact. But if you farm this over and over, I'm sure you will calculate way more runs than any other dungeon we cover today. Pre-patch players were estimated to be making upwards of 30 million XP per hour from this dungeon. Now the objectives within these dungeons are to destroy the skeletal constructs, the three of these, and then defeat the boss in Kraza Abomination. Now the enemy types within here are Gauntman and Skeletons. This means this dungeon will have increased drop chances for crossbows, shields, swords, two-handed axes, axes, staffs, and totems. Now in the regards for the amount of XP you'll get per run, it isn't major, expect per run to fill probably one third of your infantry. So if it is gold you seek through selling gear, this isn't that great per run that is. Average run for me was about 3-4 to four minutes. Ok so next up guys we have the Marina's Refuge. So the Marina's Refuge is a dungeon pre-patch which probably wasn't near the top 10. Now with the recent patches to enemy density, this one has shot up that list. It's a dungeon reported to reward players close to 35 million XP per hour, which is great. But it also at the same time is another straightforward dungeon to run. I absolutely hate dungeons where you have to go around your ass to get to your elbow. This one isn't much like this and it's good for its size. So our objectives here are to destroy the seaborn goddesses, the three of these, and then defeat the drowned sea hug. In regards to gold and loot you can farm and sell, this one is, well, definitely better than the Hawfrost Demise, but it still isn't the best here. I'd expect you to easily fill over half your inventory on a good run within this dungeon. Enemies within here we have the Drowned and Ghost types. This means you will see increased drop chances of scythes, two-handed maces, pants, boots, bowls and wands. Now the average run time for me is around 5-6 to six minutes here. Ok so next up guys we have Order's Cave. Now this is a dungeon many people put top of their XP farming lists. I would pre-patch. This is still a great great dungeon to farm though either way. It's just in my opinion there are two better for that XP. So this one rewards upwards of 35 million XP per hour too which is great. Now what I do love about Order's Cave is just how easy it is to run because it is just straightforward. Objectives within this one are to destroy three barricades, slay all enemies in the bandit hideout and then slay the ringleader. Now in regards to loot, 
if you want to get that gold, if you want to get gear and sell it, this is by far the best in the list today. I personally haven't run this dungeon once without having almost two images full of items to sell and store. Now enemies within Order's Cave are beasts and bandits. This means you will have increased chances of seeing chest armor, crossbows, shields, daggers, maces. So that's pretty cool. Now for me the average run time is about 6-7 to seven minutes but I do like to cover every corner within Order's Cave. Ok so next up guys we have Surat's Lair. This is Blind Bohos 2.0 if you guys remember that dungeon. This is absolutely amazing. So this dungeon rewards closer to 37 million XP per hour on those efficient runs. So still in the top 2. So it's Lair is a real straightforward dungeon to do as well also but at the same time it's quite small. But it's layout is kind of tricky due to the first objective having you have to find things which you can easily miss. These are the Silken Spires, there's 3 of these in total. These are in separate areas and many times in the past I've run past that area so check your map, keep an eye on it. Then guys you just defeat Sarah who is a spider fan in the middle of this dungeon, quite straightforward. Now in regards to loot drops and gold earning possibilities, this isn't amazing. I mean you can sometimes fill your inventory but it definitely isn't going to be every single run. Now the enemies within here are strictly spiders. This means you have increased chances of getting chest armor, focuses, gloves and two handed swords. An average run for me takes closer to 7 minutes because again I most of the time miss things and have to go back on myself. A good clean run should probably take me around 5 minutes though. Ok so the best dungeon to farm in my opinion for XP on par with all this cave for that golden loot is 100% Dumhain Tunnels. Now with the recent changes to enemy density they seemingly went overboard with this place to a point many people think this may be pulled back a bit. This one is estimated to reward closer to 60 million XP per hour. That's almost double any other one on this list which is crazy, any other dungeon in this game which is truly wild. So the objectives within this dungeon, you have to firstly free 6 prisoners, then you have to return a stone carving to the pedestal and then you defeat the boss of Kraza Abomination. Now this dungeon also doesn't take long to run either. I was running this like every 6 to 7 minutes but I know for a fact there are people out there that can run this in under half this time which is even crazier. Now enemies within this place are goatmen. This means you have increased chances of getting two handed axes, axes, staffs and totems. So yes guys the best dungeon for all your needs in Diablo 4 after the patch of 1.1.2 is Dumhain Tunnels. And there we have it guys, the 5 best dungeons in the game to farm as of right now for the XP in a team or a solo player. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.